Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to see addition story sums in class 3. Addition is one of the mathematical operations on numbers. What are the other topics that children will learn in class 3 under the topic addition? They will be learning addition of two four digit numbers without regrouping, addition of two three digit numbers with regrouping, addition of two four digit numbers with regrouping, addition of three four digit numbers with regrouping and properties of addition. I have dealt with each of these topics in separate videos in my channel. In this video, we are going to see story sums in class 3 under the topic addition. In my upcoming videos, I will be dealing with mental math concepts and addition worksheets. Dear viewers, make sure you hit that subscribe button which is provided at the bottom of the screen. By subscribing to my channel, you will receive videos on all the topics in Max that the children will learn from class 1 to class 5. I will be dealing with each of the topics in separate videos and links to all the related videos will be given below in the description box for your easy navigation. Now let us go into the details of this video now. What are story sums? Story sums are also called as word problems or statement problems. Word problems describe a real life scenario. The problems need to be solved by mathematical calculations. So how do we solve a story sum? First, read the problem. Then, identify the keywords. Next, write the statements from the problem. And then, solve the story sums. Stay with me till the end of this video to know how we are going to do step by step each of these process to solve a story sum. This is our first sum. Let us read it. Tina read two books last week. One book had 426 pages. The other book had 237 pages. How many pages did she read in all? So once you read the story sum, the next step is to identify the keywords. What is the keyword here? In all is the keyword which indicates that we are going to do a addition operation. After identification of keywords, the next step is to write the statements. The first statement is number of pages in the first book is equal to 426. Number of pages in the second book is equal to 237. So now what do we have to do? We have to find how many pages did Tina read in all. So it is an addition operation that we are going to perform. The next step is to write down the place values ones, tens and hundreds. Then begin the addition from the ones place. 6 plus 7 is 13. So 3 in the ones place and take the 1 as a carryover to the digits in the tens place. Next. Add the digits in the tens place. 1 plus 2 is 3. And then 3 plus 3 is 6. Next move on to the hundreds place. In hundreds place we have 4 plus 2 which will give you 6. So the sum of the two three digit numbers is giving you the answer 663. So how will you write the answer statement now? Now we have solved the problem. Now we have to write the answer. Therefore, Tina read 663 pages in all. Let us do the next example. In a garden, there are 586 roses and 348 lilies. How many flowers are there in the garden in all? So once again, the keyword given here is in all, which indicates we have to find out the total number of flowers in the garden using the addition operation. The third step is to write down the statements. Number of roses in the garden equal to 586. Number of lilies in the garden is equal to 348. 
Now we have to perform the addition operation. Write down the place values and begin the addition from the ones place. 6 plus 8 will give you 14. So retain the 4 in the ones place and take the 1 as a carryover to the digits in the tens place. Add the digits in the tens place. 1 plus 8 is 9 and 9 plus 4 will give you 13. So retain 3 in the tens place and take the 1 as a carryover to the digits in the hundreds place. Now add the digits in the hundreds place. 1 plus 5 is 6 and 6 plus 3 gives 9. So the sum of the two three digit numbers 586 plus 348 will give you the answer 934. So how will you take and write the answer? Therefore there are 934 flowers in the garden in all. Let us do another sum. Benny had 3235 stamps in one album and 2321 stamps in another album. What is the total number of stamps with Benny? After reading, next step is the identification of keywords. What is the keyword here? Total. Again, total indicates that we have to do an addition operation. The next step is to write down the statements. What are the statements? Number of stamps in the first album is equal to 3235. The next statement is number of stamps in the second album equal to 2321. Now we have to find the total number of stamps which indicates we have to do an addition operation. Write down the place values, ones, tens, hundreds and thousands because we have a four digit number over here. Next, begin the addition from the ones place. 5 plus 1 is 6. Move on to the tens place. 3 plus 2 is 5. Move on to the hundreds place. 2 plus 3 is 5. And then move on to the thousands place. 3 plus 2 is again 5. So, how will you write the answer? You have found out the total number of stamps by adding these two four digit numbers. So now we have to write down the answer statement. Therefore, the total number of stamps with Benny is 5,556. Let us do the next sum. In a train, there are 2,346 first class seats, 2,280 second class seats and 831 third class seats. How many seats are there in the train altogether? Here the keyword is altogether which is an indication that we have to do an addition operation. The next step is to write down the statements. Number of first class seats is equal to 2346. Number of second class seats is equal to 2280. Number of third class seats is equal to 831. Notice that 831 is a 3 digit number so make sure that you write it in the correct place. Alternatively, you could always write the place values first and then write down the numbers so that you will be able to write down the numbers in their correct places. Now begin the addition from the ones place. In the ones place we have 6 plus 0 which will give you 6 and 6 plus 1 which will give you 7. Next move on to the tens place. 4 plus 8 will give you 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. So retain the 5 in the tens place and take the 1 as a carryover to the digits in the hundreds place. Add the digits in the hundreds place. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. And 6 plus 8 will give you 14. So retain the 4 in the hundreds place and take the 1 as a carryover to the digits in the thousands place. Next add the digits in the thousands place. 1 plus 2 is 3 and 3 plus 2 is 5. So the number of seats in the train altogether is 5457. Now we have to write the answer statements. Therefore there are 5457 seats in the train altogether. Let us do another example. Sheila has 4097 marbles with her. Her mother gave her an equal number more. How many marbles does Sheila have now? 
This question is a little tricky for which the children need to understand. So the key word here is more. So Sheila's mother is giving her some more marbles. So let us find out how much is that. Let us write the statements first. Number of marbles with Sheila is equal to 4097. Her mother gave her an equal number more. So her mother gives her equal number of marbles again. So number of marbles given by her mother is equal to 4097. Now the key word here is more. She has given it more to her which means that we have to add to find out what is the total number of marbles with Sheila now. So write down the place values and begin the addition as usual from the ones place. 7 plus 7 will give you 14. 4 in the ones place and 1 in the tens place is a carryover. 1 plus 9 is 10 and 10 plus 9 is 19. 9 in the tens place and 1 is a carryover to the digits in hundreds place. 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 plus 0 again is 1. Move on to the thousands place. 4 plus 4 is 8. So how will you write the answer statement now? Therefore Sheila has 8194 marbles now. Let us do an example with rupees addition. Arun spent rupees 6237 on Monday, rupees 30 on Tuesday and rupees 433 on Wednesday. How much money did he spend altogether? The keyword here is altogether. Next write down the statements. Amount spent on Monday is equal to 6,237 rupees. Here we have 4 digit number, a 2 digit number and a 3 digit number for addition. So as I told you it is always a good practice to write down the place values first so that you write down the numbers in their correct places. The next statement is amount spent on Tuesday is equal to rupees 30. Amount spent on Wednesday is equal to rupees 433. Since we have to find out how much money did he spend altogether, we have to perform addition operation. Begin the addition from the ones place. 7 plus 0 plus 3 will give you 10. 0 in the ones place and 1 as a carryover to the tens place. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7 and 7 plus 3 is again 10. 0 in tens place and 1 as a carryover in the hundreds place. 1 plus 2 is 3 and 3 plus 4 is 7. Next move on to the thousands place where you just have to take and write down the number 6. So the answer is rupees 6700. How will you write the answer statement? Therefore amount spent by Arun altogether is 6700. Let us do another example. Ram has 5600 color pencils with him. Sam has 250 color pencils more than him. How many pencils does Sam have? Here the keyword is more. So write down the statements number of color pencils with Ram is equal to 5600. So write down the place values because we have a three digit number. To write it correctly write down the place values first. Next number of color pencils with Sam is equal to 250. Now he has 250 pencils more than Ram. So now we have to perform the addition operation because more indicates addition. Begin the addition from 1's place, you will get 0 in the 1's place, 5 in the 10's place and in the 100's place it is 6 plus 2, 8 and in the 1000's place you will get 5. So how many pencils does Sam have? Therefore Sam has 5850 pencils. Dear viewers, if you like my video give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click the bell button for regular notifications. Do share it with your friends and do provide your valuable comments in the comment section. Thank you for watching my video. See you again.